Alright guys, welcome back to Candles Reef. This is episode 2 of our coral uh, propagation. So, we got our shipment from Chaos Aquaculture. They hooked us up with these really nice pieces in here. So, let's go back over what we have. We have our green tip purple torch. Our rainbow fabia. Our rainbow montipora and our bubblegum digitata so what we're going to be doing today guys now that they're all acclimated we're going to be dipping and rinsing and doing placement so what I like to do during placement is keep a little note on what goes where medium to high flow lighting etc and then these are the dips that I always use these have been my go-to guys so we got revive so I put one cap full in with some fresh salt water. We got Coral RX, same thing, one cap full. And then I have a jar of just fresh salt water right out of the tank. This way we can rinse it off. And a couple of nail brushes, this way we can scrub our plugs. Now if they're too dirty, I sometimes like to take a new plug and re-glue the frag onto a new plug, then put it in place. If you guys are using a rack or anything. Yes, like that, Daddy. Or, here's an example of a old plug that I removed a frag off of. I kept this guy's just for this video. This way you guys can see. And, what we're going to do is find our placement in here. Ooh, this smells good. Alright guys, so... And this smells good. Yes, it does. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get one of my forceps. I'll get one of the frags on there real quick. I'm trying to do this with one hand. And I will show you guys how to dip and clean your coral. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with this Fabio coral right here. And as you can see, it's got some nice coloration already to it. It's only been here for about a half hour. Maybe a little, little bit longer. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take our coral. And we're going to dip. And just swirl it around in our solution. Now, what you could also do, if you have a lot of stuff that you're going to do, you get a gallon of water and throw a power head in it. Watch your fingers, Daddy. Watch your fingers, Dad. So, you could also take a turkey baster, like so, and blow the solution right on the coral. And if it's got any pest, which more than likely we do not have, It'll come falling right off of the frag plug. Jesse? Okay, go look on the other side, baby. Huh? Go look on the other side. What? Yeah, I got my little helper today, guys. Hi. So, we're going to keep blowing it around. That's why we keep movement on our coral. Keep it nice and happy. Now, you don't want to leave it in here too long, guys. Or it's going to really uh, PO the coral. Alright, careful daddy. Alright. So we're gonna now take, we have to take it out. Now we're gonna take it out of here. And clean it. And we're gonna rinse. And rinse. And the same thing here guys. Can, we're gonna stir I it around. It? Can I see the dad? Hold on, you'll get a chance in one second, baby. And you guys can always include your children with this stuff. Because it's a very good learning and experience. You what I like to do is I like to use both my dips, just in case there's any nasties the one can't get that the other can. Dad, what is this? So these guys are pretty clean. Never really seen anything fall off of anybody. And I see some. So as you can see, this is still pretty, pretty clean. I'm gonna take this out of here again. Dad, what is this? We're gonna go in our fresh, Dad, what is this? clean water. Dad, what is this? That's a frag plug, baby. Wait, why is it not enough have a in it? Alright. Clean, clean. And now we can start with placement. Alright guys, so now that we got the Fabia coral into the tank, I'm going to show you our placement. So it's over here in this corner here. And as you can see, this would be considered a moderate light to low light. Now I put it in this corner for now because of the lighting conditions 
and you can see the flow going by from some of these micro bubbles in the tank right now. So this should make this coral acclimate very nicely and if it doesn't do very well in this spot we could always move it because this one I did not glue down there was a hole nice and round enough for us to put the frag plug in. Alright so I'm going to uh, continue on dipping these corals now that you guys have an idea. And here's some information for Chaos Aquacultures right here. So guys check them out. And here's the glue we are using. So if you guys want to check out their website. Here you go. From Salt Critters. The guys are awesome. They got some nice corals themselves. And some dry goods. And his wife Heather does all kinds of decals and t-shirts. So you can check her out and show her some love. And you can tell everybody Candles Reef sent you.